Molecular electronics, or molotronics as it is also known as, is the field that studies organic molecules in electronics. The microprocessors in computer hardware that we use on a daily basis needs conductive material to store and transfer data. The semiconductors that provide the material by which the electrons circulate are usually made of silicon. Commercially, most semiconductors in modern-day consumer electronics are made of silicon, chosen for their effectiveness in the flow of electrical impulses. Yet, this inorganic material demands a high degree of purity to complete this type of function, which hence leads to a costly production process and, needless to say, a negative effect on the environment. Nevertheless, molecular electronics can obtain far simpler semiconductors and at a lower cost. Moreover, polymers, that is to say a substance formed of hundreds of identical molecules, can not only offer a high degree of flexibility, but also one of biocompatibility that is suitable for fields of study such as photovoltaic, photonics, and even in medicine. Dr. Juan Casado Cordon from the group of polymers in Malaga University will now tell us about these materials. Organic materials, one of the most important of the systems are oligothiophanes. These molecules are conjugated systems, which means that we have an, an alternation of simple and double bonds. And this is a conjugated material, which is able to accommodate new electrons and holes in their structures. And also, they can transport electrons because these charges can be given to the neighbor molecule. So if this happens, we have transport of electrons, we have conductivity. And in this sense, they can represent an alternative to silicon. So, on the one hand, there are many types of organic semiconductors that exist nowadays. And on the other hand, there are also a great number of functions and possible devices that use them. Which means, it is necessary to locate the best material that can be adapted for each application. In particular, the group of conductive polymers at Malaga University, led by Dr. Teodemiro López Navarrete, has predominantly concentrated their investigation on oligothiophens. So we are speaking about organic semiconducting materials. But for a chemist, we need a structure, a chemical structure, to, in, a, in order to interpret what this means. And here, I'm, showing, uh, I'm trying to show uh, the chemical structure of two classes of oligothiophene, two families. The first one concerns with aromatic samples. This is the most studied family of samples between the oligo oligothiophene family. But the other one, which we uh, call quinoidal oligothiophenes, is the family that the group in Malaga has become most popular in, in, uh, in the uh, international community. Well, we, we were able to discover that this molecule is able to conduct electrons in very, very good mobilities, which is very, very uh, important since there is a difference regarding aromatic oligothiophenes. These samples are able to conduct holes, and quinoidal oligothiophenes are able to conduct electrons. So we need both types of conduction in order to have real material for real applications. This university group from Malaga have been working on these types of conductors since 1992 in collaboration with scientists from Japan, Germany and the United States. And they are one of the leading national groups of scientists in the field of semiconductors. This group has recently published a communication on the results found in a project of excellence from the Junta de Andalucía in the prestigious Journal of American Chemical Society. Without a doubt, Molecular electronics proposes a very sustainable solution for the future and has increasing importance in society. So much so 
that the 2008 Prince of Asturias Award of Investigation and Science has been bestowed together with four other investigators from the field of organic materials to the renowned American scientist Tobin Marx. Professor Marx works together with the Malaga University group with whom he has published various joint works together with Dr. Juan Casado Cordon on semiconductors based on theophenics.